Hey guys, I'm going to talk today about how and why this new ranked mode is really messed up. I am pretty sick, so I sound a little different. First of all, I do trust Supercell. They've always fixed things in the past, but hopefully they realize pretty soon all the problems with this new mode. Before all the bad stuff, here's some of the good things. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the rest of the update. I actually think it's a very good update outside of the changes to the ranked mode. But uh, the good things with the ranked mode, I'm sure a lot of you are expecting me to complain about the modifiers or the luck-based rewards, but actually those are not the problem. Pretty much anything is an improvement to the 125 bling per ranked, and also, because it's once per month, you get like double the amount of rewards, and it's already better, so there's going to be a lot of value inside of the rewards. And the modifiers, they do make the mode less competitive, and we have to see per modifier. They don't seem too bad, at least from what I've seen, and... They're definitely going to make the mode more interesting. Uh, it might take away some of the competitiveness, but that's not too bad. Now, we'll start off the problems with the ones that are less of a problem. Like, these are pretty simple fixes and shouldn't hurt too much if they aren't fixed. But they are still potential issues anyway. This one is more hypothetical, but we don't know what's happening to the previous highest ranks, whether it's going to be translated to the new mode and it'll just keep the stats you had. Uh, they might be legacy stats, I think you can click at the top and see old stats, or if they're just going to be deleted altogether. Personally, I think it should be translated because it is like three years of accomplishments gone for so many people if it's not translated. Hopefully, I don't think there's any chance they just delete it completely. It'll probably be a legacy stat. But if they do delete it completely, that would be really crazy because it's just all the work completely gone. But we'll see about that. I don't think it would be that bad. And I don't think they'll mess that up. I think they'll at least make it a legacy stat. Um, and then the other small issue is the power level requirement. And this is like a very, very small issue where you can only pick power nine brawlers. I think it's a very, very good change for lower level. But it is at higher level at least very common to pick and then switch. Uh, so if you don't have a higher level, you'll pick it because it's the best pick for the that point in the draft. And then you swap with someone who does have the level. And I think they should allow it, at least in like Legendary Plus, maybe Mythic Plus. Because, I mean, if people really want to throw a game, they'll just sit in the spawn of the map. Or they'll just pick the worst possible pick like El Primo into like Shelly Emslu or something like that. And stopping them from picking level ones isn't going to stop them from throwing the game if they really wanted to. It's a good change, but I just think they should allow it at the higher level. All right, now are the real issues. The first one is uh, like merging the solo and team modes. There's so many things wrong with this, and I'll do my best to explain them. First of all, whether there's an underdog system or not, even if you're only losing like half of what you normally do or a quarter of what you normally do, people at the top level are always going to play in teams and they're going to beat the random queues 95% of the time. Like, why would you ever put your teammates up to luck when you can just pick them out beforehand? This itself isn't really a problem. I mean, it's fine because, you know, lots of people at the top level do have connections, but you're essentially removing solo mode as an option, at least for pushing the higher ranks. I think in, you know, like bronze to diamond, maybe even mythic solo queuing is still an option. But I think if you realistically want to push masters, I'm sure there'll be like very a couple of very good players that do like a special thing where they push solo and get it. But it's still going to be extremely hard for them and even very, very good players would not be able to push masters solo queuing. Um, and this basically just means you have to play in a team. If you like, I'm going to try and push masters, obviously it means I have to play in a team and I can't just like open the game and then play some power league. I, I need to take the time to organize a team ahead of time or just find one in game. Either way, it adds a ton of time to the process of playing ranked instead of just picking it up like you could before. And it's also going to add connections as a requirement to do well. And previously, the best way to get connections was to play solo power league. And obviously, since that isn't an option anymore, there's no way to really get good connections. I mean, obviously, you can join servers and other communities to try and find them. But you don't really have a great way to prove yourself because in so when you play solo power league, other people can see that you're doing well and then they want to add you as a friend. Since there's no connections, I mean, that's not really going to be a problem for me and all the other people who already have a good friends list and know a lot of people, but it is going to be very hard for new players to get into the high ranked scene, which is weird if you think about it because this update was supposed to be about making ranked more accessible for casual players, not less. 
Uh, and also with these changes, connections might be even more valuable than skill. Without saying names, I already know that there'll be YouTubers or other popular people who are going to push masters or at least a high legendary rank by being carried by two professional players, even if their skill level is much lower than the rank they get, which obviously it's fine to not be that high skill level, but it's kind of unfair if you just use your connections to get an extremely high rank. Um, and even if you're not a YouTuber or very popular, people will still be getting carried to high ranks that they don't deserve. Um, which is just pretty stupid, in my opinion. I think this problem, like the problem as a whole of, of them merging solo and team, I don't think it's going to be fixed right away. It might not ever get fixed. Hopefully it does. But I think if they do fix it, it's going to take them a little bit to realize, like a little time. And then for me, the biggest problem with the update, without a doubt, is the report system inside of the ranked mode. Uh, I get it looks very good, like on paper, we can get rid of cheaters and people throwing games, and that's good. But it's a lot of lot of power to give to just every single Brawl Stars player. It's very confusing, for me at least, how it went from doing the report system did absolutely nothing for two years into giving the players an insane amount of power. I mean, I assume creators will get some sort of protection. Obviously not me. I don't have a very big following. I don't think it, it'll really be a problem for me. I don't think I'll be targeted. But obviously bigger creators and Power League streamers, they're definitely going to get targeted with the report system so i assume they'll get some sort of protection for that but if they don't that would be very crazy because they wouldn't even be able to play or stream because everyone would just report them so fast i don't really understand why supercell would trust the high level brawl Stars community with this much power and like previous things i think it is pretty good for like bronze and stuff i don't think anybody in bronze through diamond is really going to be using it maliciously to get random people banned from power league but there's like i don't know i guarantee that this will be abused so much to target people who aren't liked or abused in other ways because there's no system in place at least from what we've seen to prevent false reports and it doesn't really seem possible to implement one i do think this is going to completely solve match throwing because if someone actually does throw a match, instantly they'll get reported by all five people and eventually they'll get banned. So I do think it does a great job of solving that, but it is very overkill. Because match fixing isn't even going to be present, that means your 10 reports a day uh, won't be actually be used because once people get banned once or twice, they're not going to ever do it again. Um, and if they do, they'll only do it once or twice. So you're not really going to be using your 10 reports a day. And the people who are going to be abusing it, that means they have 10 reports they can use to uh, report the people they don't like, or even more likely, report the people who have beaten them. Like I said before, nobody at the top level is going to be solo queuing, so that means they're not going to be reporting their teammates because it's people they found ahead of time. Uh, so people are going to get timed out for winning games because people will just report the other team that they lost to because they're not going to report their own teammates, and they're going to get mad that they lost, maybe someone was toxic although i guess it might be good to time out the toxic people but it's not really that bad to just spin in a circle sometimes i guess you only do it if the other team is doing it but it just doesn't really make sense that people are going to be punished for winning game because i know lots of lots of people are going to be uh timing out i not timing out but at least contributing to it by reporting the teams that beat them now, we don't know the amount of reports it's going to take to receive a timeout, but whether it's high or low, the system isn't really going to work, at least in my opinion. We don't know for sure. If it takes a really high amount of reports, then match throwers aren't really going to be punished because if it takes 90 reports to get banned, it's going to be hard because then they could still throw like a very, very large amount of times without getting banned. And then if it's a very low amount, then there's going to be hundreds of people being timed out for doing nothing wrong every single day. Like if it's 10 reports to get banned, that would just be crazy because you could basically just win three games and get reported nine times. I really hope they reconsider this feature because before the update even comes out, I think it would be good to just at least change it or do something about it because I just don't think it's going to... I see no chance that it helps more than it hurts. That's it for the video. I was planning on uploading consistently this season, and that is still the goal, but we'll see if the mode is even playable.